Because from a point or from my own point of view in Ghana, we don't see Nigeria as a different tribes. When you are speaking Yoruba or whether you are speaking Igbo, all that we in Ghana or people outside Ghana know is that you are speaking Nigeria. In there, you might be different colors, but you are one people. DJ Paco Rich. Hello, my people. Yeah, good morning. Probably might be good morning somewhere. Good afternoon. It might be afternoon somewhere. Good evening. Maybe some people are also now going to bed. So I will say good evening to all of you. So I'm not really happy today. Yes. Because it looks like um, people are making our mission very difficult. The kind of work we are trying to do. It is not only about coming online to do videos and all that but there is a mission there is a purpose for our calling you understand i might not be a man of god i might not be an evangelist on something but i have a dream that i have a feeling that would see africa come together as one i mean nigerians and Ghanaians have had their own beef and all that a lot of people you know keep asking and trying to find out why i keep doing a lot of nigerian content yes because i feel that i'm a Ghanaian, and the perception that some or the perception that has been created about certain Ghanaians on how we relate to nigerians isn't the best that kind of mindset of um Ghanaians hates nigeria so i decided to use myself as a vessel to preach love to actually show love that's why i will have a lot of people question me parker why are you wearing copper t-shirts and all that yes i have to be the bridge between ghana and nigeria to show that love that it is possible for a Ghanaian to have genuine love and i mean that kind of affection for nigeria there is nothing wrong with that sometimes you might be born from somewhere but you have a feeling that this is where you belong based on the kind of character and attitude that is coming from that end so it will be very sad and disastrous to see people trying to promote tribalism tribal conflict hate and other stuff under my channel under my own umbrella a platform that we are using it to unite africa it will be very sad for me to see people fighting each other just because this is person is Igbo, this is uh, yoruba or this is uh, kalaba or this is from hausa and all that now <clears throat> i'm sure you might not understand the reason why i'm you know saying all this thing but something happened yesterday um over the weekend aseke who we all know um is a very talented musician and i mean talk of talent right now nigeria is producing most of the great musicians on the continent from africa you understand and so it is just fair enough to celebrate everybody equally once the person is able to achieve something personally as a Ghanaian, i have never thought of the tribe of Ada Aseke or Kiss Daniel or Tiwa Savage or Bena Boy and I mean I love all of them equally and I speak about them I promote their content equally because from a point or from my own point of view in Ghana we don't see Nigeria as a different tribes when you are speaking Yoruba or whether you are speaking Igbo, all that we in Ghana or people outside Ghana know is that you are speaking Nigeria. In there, you might be different colors, but you are one people. I'm going to back this conversation up with some of the screenshots that went on under the comment section and all that. 
it is very 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 pathetic for example take a look at this one so when i posted about sk Ezekiel, i'm sure you are watching this came sk wasn't the best this your guest is a yoruba man who is obviously biased next time bring a nigerian who is neutral and more educated with his analysis too much amateurish and unconvincing then i sign the word of caution that please let us not bring tribalism into what we are doing ibide served the matters paul then another comment flew in and read this come to music i'm not yoruba i'm from delta state but yorubas are the best now who is arguing about who is bad or who is not even the best then somebody comes there to reply stop okay it's the same person stop your tribalism we all know your best are the best but you saying this is still a tribal statement when it comes to music and even their language i'm not an yoruba from a sabah delta state stop your hate and all this but you see these things are sad to see my own people that i'm training my followers my disciple that i think that you people are getting the love the message that we are bringing let us not divide ourselves you see when somebody really wants to have access to destroy you they will make sure they find out that you are divided or like there is division in there and that person will fall on the other side and use that opportunity to destroy you so for example if there is a western person foreigner coming into nigeria and wants to destroy nigeria with this kind of display and things we are putting out there the person will definitely know that oh okay the euro best people know they like Igbo, Igbo people know they like Yoruba. so let me take one side and let me tell this one this one said this to this and before we know we'll be killing each other we'll be hurting each other we'll be insulting each other we'll be disrespecting each other but all that we see behind is one nigeria that is why i'm even preaching that online we do not have borders because when you are crossing from ghana to nigeria online there is nothing like a togo border there is nothing like a, a, a beni border i'm in ghana i'm in nigeria at this moment you are watching me there are people in the states watching me we are one people we are sharing so many things we don't have to do this to ourselves are you trying to tell me there are no Igbos that have been married to yoruba people there are no yoruba people that have been married to Igbo people or Igbo people that are married to house or house people that are married to you know other tribes i'm not saying in ghana yeah yeah they have their own issue but it's disgusting when we expose ourselves this up to this level for the outsiders for people that are watching us and thinking that oh nigeria they they love each other they support each other and all that and you come out to display this online why won't the enemy why would the third person step in and create more confusion between you so please i'm pleading with my lovely subscribers viewers and all that this platform let's stay away from tribalism we all see ourselves as one people i'm trying to bring ghana and nigeria together south africa and ghana together south africa and nigeria together south africa and kenya kenya and ghana kenya and nigeria together i mean the entire africa i want us to see ourselves as one people to become a strong force to reckon with and we are doing this do you know who we should call the enemy who we should call the hater the ones that we had gold the ones that we had minerals oils on our land who found ways to have upper hand on that these are the people we should be wrestling with not your fellow person 
superiority this one is better than this this one is better than this this one is better than this had it not been you people coming here to display this kind of immaturity or emotional sentiment online i would have never known that Asake is even an yoruba or kiss daniel is an yoruba or somebody is an Igbo and all what is all this please let's put some respect on ourselves let's put some respect on the countries that we represent and let's promote love let's promote unity and let's stop all these things that we are doing online please with all due respect let's just not repeat itself again because i'm not trying to say that yeah yeah because i'm looking because i'm growing and all that if somebody is trying to set in this then i'll take you off i'm saying this if you come on this platform to incite violence and tribalism and all that it's even youtube their community standard do not even support that so i wouldn't encourage things that will put my channel at risk if it's not about love forget it my name is dj parker H. they play we they do everything some we they try to preach love there was one time that i came and then you know because of the dominance of Ibokwenu, Ibokwenu in movies i mean unknowingly i was greeting Ibokwenu because because of where we have been watching movies for we felt like that is a general language in nigeria like for example ghana we have aquaba everybody responds to aquaba i said it and a lot of you know controversy setting and why are you saying at least come in there and educate me let me know that oh and um, when you greet Ibokwenu, the Yoruba people, you should say maybe uh, Yoruba Kwenu or something. <laughs> yeah, it looks funny though, but sometimes we are learning from each other's culture. So people might not know things which they might make mistakes genuinely. But let's try and know how to accommodate each other. Because we are different people, but we are definitely, we have different colors, but we are definitely one people that's exactly what i want to see so please if you're watching this video let me know where you're watching this video from share your view share your sentiment what do you think about this act that went on yesterday i mean you can go and look at asheke's video some of the comments under it's i mean that last content that i did last but two content that i did about asheke he won an award in ghana and we are all supposed to celebrate him not to you know promote tribalism and whatever whatever love you guys you are the best viewers and subscribers that i have let's keep the love up nysc for life yes i'm the only copper who came to do my service here in ghana don't ask me why <laughs> yeah it is allowed i've seen nigerian schooling in ghanaian universities they will do their service people ghanaians also school in nigerian universities they can also do their service I love, I love you guys. Bye bye. DJ Paco Rich.